your brain knows that, then it sends a signal to your body to release saliva. And then the saliva comes and then makes it like a good paste, but it doesn't make it watery. It makes it like a good paste. That's why um, um, things that are not like hard, you don't need a chew. Because it's already like a paste already. Like soup. It, it goes in the pharynx. After it goes in the pharynx, it goes to the esophagus. And then now the food has a choice to make. Either it goes to the lung entrance or just normally to the stomach. But you would not like it if it went to the lung pipe, then they have something that closed the lung pipe for you. It, and it's called a sphincter. And then the food just goes down and, and then after that it reaches the stomach. And then it, it gets inside of the stomach and then the brain knows that then it tells the body to release gastric juice that you can also call it acid. And then the acid just smudges up, smudges it up with the with the with the stomach walls help, and then it turns into a liquid. And then let me tell you why it turns into a liquid. It turns into a liquid. You know they have two intestines. They have the small intestine and the large intestine. Then the small intestine is small. Then the food cannot be big, and then and then it's thick, and it cannot fit in there. Then it has to be liquid so it can easily fit in there. You see, like sometimes something very small, and then you take a glass of water and then you put it in there. It it naturally comes out. Then it's the same thing as a small intestine. And then it goes inside of the small intestine. But they have another reason why it should be watery. So it could be so the villa can get the good nutrients from the food when it's inside the small intestine. Okay, after the stomach, here comes the small intestine. But the small intestine, let me tell you something that's a little bit confused, that's a little bit confusing. The small intestine is very long and the large intestine is very short. The, the large intestine is only 5 feet long and then the small intestine is just 25 feet long. And then, you, do you see that, do you, that, do you think that's a, that's a little bit weird? But let me tell you what happens inside of the lung. It has something that's called villi. It absorbs the, the nutrients. It's, in, it's on the wall of the small intestine. Like, like on the walls of your house. Like here are the windows. Like the, the stuff around the wall. Yeah, things like that. The villi. It gets the nutrients and then it gets and then it puts it inside of the blood. So and then it flows, flows naturally, but they have something called bile and then the villi would not be able to take the nutrients from the food the way that bile cell. Imagine if they didn't have any bile. How will you be healthy? How? You think the villa would just have a hand and then take it? No, the villa doesn't have hands in hands. Like, when you're drinking something, it's your mouth that sucks it in from the straw. Because it's not the straw that just gives it, gives it, gives it. It's not the straw. It's, it's your mouth that's pulling like... Yeah, it's that. The, the bottle is like that now. And then the 
the villa is like that straw. And then the nutrients is like that water. Then you drink it from the straw. And then the bile is something to help it, like suck it in. The bile is produced in the liver. And then after it, it it's like produced in the liver, it goes inside of the pancreas. And then there's something that I need to tell you. You have to remember this. Hold it until needed. You're going to remember that for me. Then the pancreas holds it until the small intestine needs it. The bile is like a magnet and then a magnet. And then it gets the, the nutrients and then after that it goes like, Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Then after that, the villi just gets it and throws it inside of the blood. Now, it's another part of the body we're talking about now, but it's still the digestive system. Or, now it goes to the large intestine. It's not that it's larger and, and longer. It's larger, but it's shorter. Then now it gets inside of the cecum, and the cecum is like the, a little tube just to connect the small intestine to the large intestine. Then it goes to the large intestine and then after that, the food goes up through the, wanna hear? Through the ascending colon and then it goes straight through the transverse colon and then the food goes down through the descending column. And then after that, it reaches the rectum, and then after that, it gets out of the anus. And then now, from the water intestine, water is absorbed by the body. And when you're sick, the large intestine absorbs water from the body and then you're sick, you have diarrhea. Bye, Nathalema. Bye. I love you. Be well soon. Jitem and I'll hit book. Yo te quiero.